users to the current line of Queen Drive. Hello, I'm Michael Wilson, guitarist of uh, Queensryche, and uh, the other members of uh, Queensryche are uh, Scott Rockenfield on drums, Eddie Jackson on bass, Todd Latore on vocals, and Parker Lundgren on uh, the other guitar. How are things going with the band? Uh, Queensryche has been doing great. Um, 2016 has been a very busy year for the band. We've been touring, um, you know, probably over a hundred shows this year. And uh, it's great to be back in Europe, you know, back in the Netherlands, where uh, Queensryche music is just loved, and so we're so happy to be here. I was just wondering, this will be your 24th concert in the Netherlands, but what is your most memorable show you ever did here? Um, you know, we've had so many great shows in the Netherlands, you know, some big festivals, we're doing, you know, this looks like a fun festival tonight, um, but you know, they're all great, but I'm pretty damn excited for tonight. I was checking just uh, some uh, set list from the current tour, and I couldn't help but notice that you play a lot of old stuff. Wouldn't you like to play uh, a set list with more stuff of the last two albums that you re that you recorded with this lineup? Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a balance because um, you know to to appease the the casual Queensrÿche fan versus the hardcore Queensrÿche fan. You know they kind of want to hear the hits. And you know those are like like you said the first seven six seven albums right and uh, so you know we infuse that with uh, a couple songs from you know our our last album Condition Human yeah and uh, the self title um, whenever possible um, tonight you know it's a it's a 55 minute set so we're just gonna go out there and hit it hard. But like on a regular Queensryche show, we, we try and represent, I think we represent like eight, eight albums. So it's a, it's a good balance in the set list. Uh, who decides uh, what songs are played on the set list? Well, who, I mean, it's a, the set list? It's, a, it's a combination, you know, it's a, uh, we listen to a lot of the fans, you know, social media, Facebook, you know, and, uh, um, and then Obviously, the, the favorites that we know that work well, right? That, that we know that we're going to get a good reaction out of. And then it's uh, kind of the hits and throwing in some obscurities, you know, just to, to balance it out. And then the couple of new songs that we're promoting, you know. So, um, you know, everybody's got their opinion and eventually we come up with a list. Um, it's easier said than done. Yeah. <laughs> You have so much songs to choose from. Yeah, our discography, as you know, goes over 30 years, so it's a lot of uh, albums, you know, to choose which tunes to play. Yeah. Uh, on Condition Human, it surprised me a bit that you didn't work with James Barton. Right. Why was yeah, that? Well, you know, a lot of it is scheduling, um, and uh, a lot of it was, uh, you know, the body of music. Um, we felt that Zeus, uh, he really had a grasp of the music, so um, and he had a, a, a direction of, of how he wanted to, uh, you know, get the best performances of the guys. And we just, uh, uh, you know, he was he was ready and willing, and and just had the better uh, grasp of the the demos. So, you know, it was. Uh, um, great, you know, working with him and meeting with him. He's, you know, first class, you know, producer, engineer. Great ear, you know, young guy, he's a good guy. Okay. I heard in Condition Human there are a few songs that were already supposed to be on the previous album. Is that true? That are on what? Pardon? On the Condition Human, there yeah. are a few songs that were already supposed to be on the album before that one, Queen's Reich. Um, you know, uh, in the earlier Queensryche, obviously, uh, you know, so, some of the songs weren't used because, you know, the decision was made to bring in other songwriters, so a bit of the, you know, the real creativity was stifled, right? So, yes, we have a hard drive 
all of us do, of songs that weren't used for those recordings. So if we want, we could pull from those songs. But, you know, the chemistry and the dynamic of the band is, is really great now, so it's always uh, better to uh, come and with fresh ideas and, you know, start from a clean slate. But if we need to, we will pull things from past demos. Okay. But uh, you make more demos than you uh, actually put tracks on the album. I think all you bands work. do that, you know. It's like um, you, you always want to get a pool of maybe 20 to 25 songs, right? And uh, then it's just a matter of everybody determining what's going to be the body of music that's going to go on the CD, you know? And, um, you know, you got to keep it within a, a certain amount of minutes. And, uh, and then you got to, you know, discuss with the record label how many songs they want on a CD. So, uh, so yeah, there's obviously songs that didn't make the, the condition human record. And then there's also songs that uh, are on special uh, imports, uh, special box sets, there's yeah. extra songs, so, um, you know, but that's, that's how it goes these days. <laughs> you play in a band that has been uh, together already for 35 years. What do you consider the highlights of those years? Oh, there's so many highlights. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, you know, obviously uh, um, getting started with uh, Queen of the Reich, you know, our our demo got put into Kerrang! magazine, you know, and, and we started off, I was 20 years old, you know, and uh, then it was, you know, we just progressively, uh, with each album, started discovering ourselves and the creativity in the band, you know, and then obviously in the late 80s, early 90s, we, you know, kind of really hit that apex with uh, MTV and VH1 and all that. So, I mean, milestones like uh, winning the Viewer's Choice Award from MTV, you know, the Moon Man, yeah. that was pretty cool. Uh, performing at the Grammys, you know, being nominated for Grammys three times, four times, you know. Uh, playing the Billboard Music Awards, uh, playing Rock and Rio in front of 130,000 people. I mean, there's so many great things that, that I'm so happy and thankful for. So it's, it's um, but you know, the, the list goes on. I mean, hey, last year we just played Falken in Germany and that was in front of over 100,000 people. I mean, and that's great, you know, Queensryche's never played that show, so that was cool. I cannot even imagine how it feel, must be to be for such a great audience. The feeling, it's, it's a rush. You know, you have to uh, contain yourself, obviously, but uh, it's, it's an energy like no other. I heard from a friend of mine who was at your show uh, last night in Denmark, and he told me you ended uh, the set with a song called Eyes of a Stranger. Did you know that was the 1230th time that you played that song? No, I did not. I mean, that's, that's a song that's... You know, kind of a staple for Queensryche. It goes over really well live, and fans love that song. And uh, last night's show was amazing. We had a great audience. You know, we had we had been to uh, Denmark in a long time, so it was a great audience to to finally uh, come back and a good show to give them. But I can imagine when you play the song for over a thousand times, don't you get bored with it somehow? Um, you know, for me, I, I don't look at it as a song per song basis. I look at it as a performance. And, uh, you know, they're, they're all the integral parts of the performance. And it's just, uh, for me, it's all about having fun. You know, and as long as I'm having fun on stage, I'm going to keep doing this, you know? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I can imagine you played with uh, way too many bands to mention. But which one comes first to mind when you think of bands that oh, you love? I mean, we played, you know, when we were younger, we still, you know, we played with uh, Dio, we played with uh, Iron Maiden, we toured uh, with Metallica on And Justice For All, we toured with ACDC, um, you know, uh, Def Leppard, you know? <laughs> so lots and lots of bands, you know, um, and, uh, you know, we're fortunate that that, uh, you know, Queen's Reich's a touring band, so we've built uh, a good, strong following doing a lot of touring, so um, that's 
why you know we're out here today. Got one final question. Future plans. Um, after we're finished with Europe here, we got some festivals in the U.S. Uh, then we uh, head to uh, uh, Tokyo, wow. Japan to uh, play Loud Park, and then we fly to Australia and do a tour there. Uh, we come back to the U.S. and then we do a, uh, a fall winter tour with uh, Armored Saint. And that puts us at the end of uh, December 16th, I believe. It's the last. Uh, that's a lot of touring. This year for a condition human, yes. So you're going to make a lot of miles. A lot of miles, yeah. Well, thank you for this interview. Thank I'm looking you, forward you know, to see you tonight at City Rock. Yeah, and thanks for the support. Thanks for having Queensryche. Check out Queensryche at queensrycheofficial.com. <laughs>